So, you've probably seen that insane video where a drone keeps up with Max Verstappen's RB20, flying side by side with a Formula One car for an entire lap around Silverstone. No cuts, no CGI, just pure speed and precision in real time. Wild, right? But here's the real question. How did they actually make that happen? Because we're not just talking about chasing a car. We're talking about chasing one of the fastest machines on Earth, hitting 300 kilometers per hour and cornering like it's on rails. That flight wasn't a fluke. It was the result of months of engineering, custom builds, and nerves of steel. So let's break down how the Dutch drone gods built a drone that could literally keep pace with Formula One. So here's where it all began. In January 2023, Red Bull reached out to Dutch drone gods and basically said, can you build a drone fast enough to follow an F1 car? For a whole lap? Now, if you know anything about F1 cars, you know they're not just fast in straight lines. They corner like they're on rails and change speed so violently, it's hard to even watch them sometimes, let alone follow them with a drone. At that time, nothing existed that could do this. Even the best FPV drones topped out around 160 to 180 kilometers per hour and couldn't carry a high-quality camera without sacrificing performance, so the team had to start from scratch. The very first hurdle, speed. An F1 car can accelerate from 0 to 200 kilometers per hour in under 5 seconds and hit 300 plus on the straights. So the drone had to match or exceed that acceleration while carrying a cinema quality camera. The solution? Build a completely custom drone called the Red Bull Drone One and design it like a race machine. They ditched anything unnecessary and optimized every single gram. The final drone could go from 0 to 300 kilometers per hour in about 2 seconds. That's faster than the RB20 itself. It used a quadcopter setup with custom-built motors developed with help from a university tech team. Each motor pushing out up to 20 kilograms of thrust combined. That's absurd. Most racing drones don't even get close to half of that. Next challenge? Keep it light without making it flimsy. You can't just use plastic or aluminum when you're flying at 350 kilometers per hour and pulling six Gs in the turns. The drone frame had to survive vibration, stress, and sharp maneuvers without flexing or snapping mid-flight. So they built the frame using a combo of carbon fiber, glass fiber, and three D-printed polymers. These materials gave them a strong but ultralight structure. The total weight of the drone? Just under one kilogram. And that includes a full cinema camera system, batteries, antennas, and the frame. That's crazy light for something that fast. Power was a real challenge. At full speed, this drone burns through battery fast. A regular FPV battery wasn't going to cut it. Those usually last three to five minutes if you're lucky. So the team built a custom battery setup that could deliver short bursts of high power while still being light enough to fly smoothly. It's not meant for long flights, just enough juice to get through a full F1 lap, which is around two minutes, give or take. Then there's the signal issue. Most drones start losing connection after a few hundred meters, especially if there's interference. But on a big track like Silverstone, where everything's moving fast and the space is wide open, they needed a much more reliable solution. That meant using long-range video transmitters that could send a clear, low-latency feed so Shaggy, the pilot, could see everything in real time and respond without delay. Now let's talk about the camera, because filming an F1 car at 300 kilometers per hour isn't worth much if the footage looks like a shaky mess. But here's the thing, gimbals are heavy and slow. They wouldn't survive on this drone. So Dutch drone gods went with a hard-mounted GoPro tuned with precise vibration isolation and post-stabilized the footage using gyro data and real steady software. They also tested different camera angles and aerodynamic housing to reduce drag and keep airflow smooth across the drone. Every wire, every sensor, 
it all had to be flush with the body. Even with the most advanced drone, it's not going to do much if the pilot isn't up to the task. That's where Ralph Hogenberg, better known as Shaggy FPV, comes in. He wasn't just taking the drone for a casual spin. His job was to keep it locked in behind Verstappen's RB20, matching the car's speed, reacting to every brake and turn, and keeping the framing spot on, all without any fancy GPS or tracking tech. Just pure skill, practice, and a whole lot of muscle memory. Now here's where things get even trickier. When the car hits a straight, it creates a lot of turbulent air, basically a chaotic airflow that can make the drone wobble. So Ralph has to fly above that dirty air to keep things smooth. But the moment they head into a corner, he needs to drop the drone down again to stay close and get those dynamic angles. That kind of up and down flying at high speed? It's no joke, definitely takes some serious coordination. Crashes, failures, and iteration. Of course, this didn't work on the first try. They went through dozens of prototypes. Some exploded mid-air, some caught fire, some couldn't take the G-forces. Each version gave them new data. They kept adjusting motor thrust curves, frame stiffness, and even rewrote firmware to reduce lag in controller inputs. And they kept testing in real-world conditions, chasing sports cars, racing bikes, just to prepare for the big day. When everything finally came together, they got their one chance. A cloudy day at Silverstone with Max Verstappen in the RB20. Conditions weren't ideal. The track was damp. Visibility was low. But the drone worked. Shaggy flew it perfectly. And for the first time ever, an FPV drone kept up with an F1 car through straights, corners, and everything in between. It wasn't luck. It was eight months of hardcore engineering, piloting discipline, and custom hardware all working just enough in one perfect lap. And that wraps it up. Honestly, the fact that a hand-built drone could keep up with a Formula One car, and not just keep up, but film it like a Hollywood chase scene, is absolutely next level. It's not just about speed, it's about control, creativity, and pushing limits most of us never even think about. So, that's all for today. If you found this as mind-blowing as we did, hit that subscribe button for more deep dives into crazy tech like this. Got questions or thoughts? Drop a comment below. We'd love to hear what you think about the future of drone racing and filming.